remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? A Florida man who thought he was going on a date with a girl he met on the Plenty of Fish app ended up getting robbed and shot instead. Sanford police said it was all set up by an 18-year-old girl who attended Seminole County High School. So how did we get here? Y'all know the drill. They're communicating on the app. Jaquila Taylor tells the man to bring her some McDonald's at two o'clock in the morning. She tells him to deliver it to her grandmother's home. Yeah, she set the lick up at her grandmother's house. So the guy gets there to pick her up. She gets in the car. She steps out and says she has to use the phone. When she steps out, two guys rush him and start swinging on him, beating him with their guns. The guy breaks away. They shoot him, bust him in the chest. Police found the dude bleeding at a nearby house. Jaquila has been charged with attempted murder and robbery using a firearm. You know, they're very serious about firearms in Florida. I don't even know why people walk around with guns in Florida at all. It's like they give you guns and they tell you, if you get caught with it, you're going to jail. <laughs> in any event, her life I won't say it's completely over, but she just threw some critical years away because they are going to lock her up. The two guys are still on the run. The guy who was shot in the chest, the victim, he was rushed to the hospital. His condition is unknown. If he dies, boy, they're going to really stick it to them. Family, this ain't the first time and it won't be the last time we have a discussion about these dating apps. It's hard enough meeting someone in person. Someone who you may work with or have attended school with. Maybe you grew up in the same neighborhood. Maybe a friend of yours introduced you to them. Maybe they're a friend of the family. Maybe you met them at your neighborhood grocery store, at the post office, wherever. It's hard enough meeting somebody in the traditional fashion and finding out who they really are. You get to set up an app and be whoever you want to be. Create a profile. And, you know, everybody on these apps are perfect. Everybody is living their best life. Ain't nobody struggling on these apps. <laughs> everybody paid. Everybody is on a perpetual vacation. Everybody is doing great. So when you meet somebody on one of these apps, you really don't know who you're dealing with at all. At least if you meet somebody in person, you see them getting in the car, you can take that drive license, I mean that uh, license plate number down and get your people over at the DMV to uh, you know, run a, a check. You know what I'm saying? You know, you can look at the car or something. You know, you, you know, you can snap a picture, hey, you know who this is, you know, you got something. But an app. Man, people can become whoever they want to be. I am very suspicious of these dating apps. Very suspicious of dating apps. It's so many people who have been murdered by people 
that they met on these dating apps. I mean, it's like, think, of, think about it. You got to put yourself in a predator's shoes. Think, if you were a predator, how you would present yourself on a dating app. You can just paint it as perfect as you want to and no one would be the wiser. Think about what I'm saying. I advise each and every one of you to be very, very cautious. I know that the pickings are thin. Maybe you live in a small neighborhood, or a small community, small town. Maybe you live in a big city, but you're just tired of the clowns in your city. And you need to spread your wings. Be very, very careful. Because they can be from the most perfect looking town, community, have the perfect background, perfect family, and be a serial killer. And you sitting up there exchanging pleasantries, sitting on a date, looking at them. They stand in your eyes. You don't, you done told everybody where you are, like that's gonna be enough. Okay, I'm here. That ain't enough. Okay, the only thing that letting people know your whereabouts are gonna do is give them an idea of where you was last seen. That's it. It's not gonna stop that person from stabbing you or shooting you or strangling you. Tequila Taylor is a new fool. She should be avoided by all means. This genius communicated with the victim on an app and gave him the address to her grandmother's house where the lick was to take place. Shaquilla, you should know. Somebody should have told you. Never shit where you lay your head for being so damn Lamont on Sanford and Son dumb. Your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What, what, what the haters talking about?